guys, Rancho and Brown here. Getting on here a little bit later than planned, but still wanted to get the last one of the trunk rotation series up for you guys. Uh, this one's primarily for my CrossFitters who um, really need to gain that trunk control and that um, stability in the trunk for their overhead lifts. Um, but it's also really good for kind of anyone. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so going to show you two different ones tonight um, to kind of uh, basically retrain the motor patterns, retrain your systems on how to um, how to really gain that control in the trunk. First one's going to be a little bit easier than the second one. And first one is actually going to be a, a progression of the mobility one I showed a couple days ago with that rotation opening up. So for this one you do need some sort of band to add a little bit of resistance. So uh, you can buy these pretty much in any sporting goods store. If you've ever been to therapy, you probably have one at some point in time. Uh, but yeah, so just going to need a little bit of a band, a little bit longer. But what you're going to do, so it's going to be the same as the rotation one I showed a couple days ago. We're just adding a little bit of resistance to it now. So basically same motion starting here in front of you. From there, as you're still going to rotate, your head's still going to follow that moving hand. You just have that resistance that you're adding to it. So you're just adding a little bit of um, what we call loading to that motion. So we did that mobility part. Now we're basically loading it and retraining it in a resistant pattern. So once you do the mobility one, you gain that motion, then you want to do... 15 to 20 of these on both sides just to retrain that motion in more of a stability way um, or pattern rather than just the getting gaining that motion. So the next one is a little bit more difficult. It can be a little more challenging. I will show you some variations uh, that you can do for it or a variation I should say. So you've probably all seen a side plank where you're going to be in this position uh, progressing that arm up. So what we're going to do is basically do that side plank, but we're going to use our trunk to control it, our shoulder to control it, in order to get some rotation through that uh, torso, or through our whole body actually. So you're going to start in that side plank position, arms going to be up, you're going to rotate down, touch the ground, and come back up. So rotating, touch, and come back up. If that's too difficult for you, you can also go onto your knees. So it's not as challenging this this way, but it does still challenge that trunk. Starting here, rotating down, and coming back up. Good way to start training that control there in a less aggressive, um, less uh, stability required pattern. So try those out. Uh, if you have any questions, comments um, on how to do those, definitely post those comments below. If you have any other great ideas, I would love to hear them. And as usual, if you have anything specific you have questions on that you want to address with me, um, feel free to message me directly. I'd be happy to answer any of those questions for you. So, hope you had a wonderful Monday, and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. All right, bye.